Lately, I have been checking the blankets extra well. Extra good, I, I don't know. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. All right, we're trying out a new angle today to try to like show everything that's out on the table. Of course, you're getting a beautiful view of everything that's inside of my bowl right here in front of me. Um, everything on the table here, I bought about a week ago when I went shopping with Juliet. And now, granted, I really like to do my shopping trips and then immediately get home, unwrap everything and do my haul videos. This is the first time that I've kind of not done that. And as a result, uh, this got incorporated into my hoard. I uh, just into my decorating basically. And uh, there's something missing here that's already been shipped off. Uh, this is sold. And so, I mean, it's just chaos basically is what I'm saying. This doesn't even belong on a table. This is my coffee mug. Oh, you can't even see it anyway. So it really doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, I'm just, I'm not organized on this one. So but we're going to go through it real quick. We're going to talk about everything that I bought, what I paid for it, and what I think I can get for it slash what I got for it because it's not here right now because I already sold it. Um, so Juliet and I went shopping last week. We went over to um, Hanover, which is about 45 minutes away, and we went shopping, the two of us. Now, I love shopping with Juliet. We have so much fun. It's like mother-daughter bonding stuff. It's really distracting though, <laughs> but we have fun and that's what matters. So this is um, some of the stuff that we got. We're gonna start over here with the textile stuff. After I found that beautiful, beautiful blanket, I mean, I always check the blankets, but lately I have been checking the blankets extra well. Extra good, I, I don't know, I didn't really wanna say that. I've been really checking over the blankets. And what I found in the blankets was this Williamsburg throw blanket. Now I paid $6.50 for this. That's what I paid for the other crochet blanket that was worth about $150. Maybe more than that. I don't know. I didn't sell it. I kept it. So it doesn't really matter what it was worth. Now this is a Williamsburg by Goodwin Weavers. Paid $6.50. It's worth $30 to $35. There are no tears, no rips, no weird smells. Um, and it's actually pre pretty, like, peachy color, so I don't see why I wouldn't sell. <laughs> uh, I thought it was cute. And it actually says Williamsburg on it. I didn't actually notice that before, but... Um, this. I saw this. This was actually right next to the blankets, and... I, it made me like really wish that Juliet was smaller so I could stuff her inside of it, but she's not. I tried it. It didn't work. Um, it's a 24 month old snowsuit um, for 24 month olds. Obviously, Juliet is not 20, she's like five years old. She's a little bit older than that. She would not fit in here. Um, she even tried it herself. I, I wasn't like forcibly pushing her in there. She, she was trying it herself. Um, now, this is French Toast brand. And it is just, it's got little skiing critters, like penguins and geese and a bunny. <laughs> I thought it was adorable. So I had to grab it. I had to grab it because, like, I knew if I grabbed it, somebody watching my video could be like, I can appreciate that. And I know somebody, like, in my family would appreciate that. So I grabbed it. Um, there is like a little bit of fading here around the edges of the hands, but all the snaps work. And um, it's very warm. So I grabbed that, had to have that. Um, moving right along, let's talk about the bunny that isn't here. I bought a bunny and he was very dapper. I'll put a picture of him up. Um, <laughs> he was in with all of the figurines and all that jazz. And um, Juliet and I kind of walked back and forth. I missed him the first time I went by, but the second time I was like, look at that bunny. I like his style because he was dressed like real stylish like. And <laughs> um, I posted a picture of him on my Instagram. and People were um, saying that he could possibly be a Pendlefin rabbit. 
Unfortunately, he was not. I believe he was made to look like a Pendlefin rabbit. Um, he was made to look like Uncle Soth's, I believe. I, I, that might not be right. Um, but he was made to look like one of them, but he was not. Uh, because the one I'm thinking, the one he was supposed to look like didn't have a bow tie and he had a bow tie. But he was just absolutely adorable. So he sold and he sold for, I gotta check my phone because my memory is not very good. Um, give me one moment, please. He's just so adorable. He sold for $20. Um... And it's just perfect because Easter's right around the corner. So he sold for $20. He's going to go live with a new family who can really appreciate him. And that makes me happy because he was rescued off the shelves. Um, so the bunny sold. He's not here on the table. Um, another thing that sold is this little deer. Now, when I found the deer, the first thing I thought of was Morton Pottery. Um, it just it struck me as Morton Pottery. I'm, I'm yet to confirm that it is Morton Pottery. I don't have any reference books on Morton Pottery. I couldn't find any similar examples online. I don't know if it's Morton Pottery. It has sold for $14. That is like the going rate for Morton Pottery figurines. I'm pleased with $14. I forget how much I paid for it. I want to say two or three dollars. Moving along. Um, okay, this bowl right here. This bowl, I liked the lines. I talk about the lines all the time in pieces that I pick. You guys are always asking me, who designed this? Who designed that? And you know, half the time I don't even know because when I'm picking stuff, I'm looking at the lines, I'm looking at the design elements. I'm saying, look at this bowl. It looks like it's mid-century modern. The shape, the, 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 the facets of it. So I picked this bowl. There's absolutely no markings on it. Um, it's got some chipping around the rim. That's what ultimately led me to decide to keep it because it's got chipping around the edges and I didn't really feel comfortable selling it, but I also really loved it myself. So I was like, you know what, I'll just keep it because I wasn't able to identify the maker. And I did post it in quite a few online Facebook groups that are specialized in identifying pieces like this, uh, pottery. And I, I couldn't get any answers, so. Now it holds stuff down in my um, entryway. <laughs> so that's my bowl. It's got like my hard drive in there and some pens and my keys to my car. I gotta make sure it makes it back downstairs. Otherwise in the morning I'm gonna be like, where are my keys? I get the kids to school. Um, moving along. We've got this Lusterware teapot creamer and sugar. Now this, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, this is one of those things that I typically steer clear of. And for some reason, I decided I was gonna buy it. <laughs> now, it doesn't sell for much. It never has. It, it's just, it's got the blue luster wear on the outside. It's got the orange in, on the inside. It's Mark's Japan. I think it is anyway. It usually is. It's Mark's, this piece isn't Mark's. This one's Mark's with a Japan and a, I don't know what maker's Mark that is. And this one's just Mark's Japan. So, I bought these pieces. I, I told myself I wasn't gonna, it, they didn't have a tag. I told myself I wasn't gonna pay more than six. She brought it to the back to price it, brought it back out, it was four. I decided, okay, what the heck, I'll pay $4 for it. Well, I'm thinking I could probably get 20 to $25 for it. For the creamer, the sugar, and the teapot because they don't sell for much. Even in a complete entire set with plates and teacups and everything will sell for 40 $45 just does not sell for much at all so if you come across it you have to really consider the hassle of shipping it because if you have all the cups and saucers and everything and you're only gonna get $45 for it think of all of the individual wrapping of all the cups and the saucers and all the lids and the teacups and everything you know it's just it's a lot of work to put into it so think about that if you ever come across it um, moving along. So, um, I bought these. I think I'm probably going to, again, incorporate these into my decor because I don't have any little doilies on my dresser. And what's the point of having a Victorian dresser if you don't have any little, like, doilies on them, right? So, um, I paid $3.50 and they're just a couple, um, in stitched. I guess they're stitched. They're not really embroidered, but they're little stitched, um, thingies. It's midnight. 
bear with me guys please be nice um okay uh, i've got this spoon rest <laughs> i paid a dollar for the spoon rest and if sue or drew were with me he would have ended up back on the shelf because he's got a little boo-boo on his ear but i'm thinking if i can't sell him i'm gonna use him he's got this weird red blotch on his cheek i don't know if you can see it you and <laughs> It's like a red spot on his, I don't know if it was supposed to be a heart or if he's just got like a, I don't know what that is on his cheek, but <laughs> oh, I had to have him. I was like, oh, look, it's a spoon rest. I'll just grab that. Uh, what would I sell him for? I'd probably sell him for like seven, eight bucks. Not a whole lot. Uh, I got this ceramic owl. I do not believe it's super old. I think it's relatively modern. Um, maybe in the past 10 years. I don't know. Um, relatively modern. Mostly because the inside ceramic is so clean. Actually, the whole thing is pretty clean. It's marked Pat. I don't know who Pat is. But apparently they had a fondness for owls. Uh, it's, it's, I think, a bell. Or maybe a chime. Now, at one point, somebody got a little too vigorous with chiming it. And one of his little talons, I got a little itty bitty neck. Real, real small neck, but a neck nonetheless. Um, these sell between $25 and $30. I believe I'm asking $20 to $25 for it. I don't remember how much. <coughs> now, let's talk about these because these are important. These I found after going back and forth and back and forth down this long wall of Nicky Nacky stuff. They were at the very, very end. Now, both times they went down this aisle, I turned around too soon because they were at the very, very, very end. So the last and final time, the last and final pass, I decided to go to the very end and I saw the Celadon Glaze. It's kind of a Celadon. I mean, I guess one of them is more of a celadon than the others. These are kind of more of a seafoam, possibly. Some of them are more bluish than green. Eh, I don't know. They're, they're just a variation of colors, but they're very pale. And I saw one of them, and I picked it up, and you get to a point of doing this for a while, of being able to feel the quality of a piece, and after picking it up, feeling the weight of it, and f just being able to touch it, and feeling the glaze, and looking it over, and knowing, okay, this is a quality piece. And there's three more on the shelf. I grabbed them, and I shoved them in my cart, and I'm not very versed in pottery. I like pottery. I, you know, certain pieces strike my fancy, such as this bowl, such as these, these mugs, these cups. Um, but pottery is something I've never really gotten deep into because there is a lot, a lot to know about pottery. And you guys know, I know a few things about ceramics, you know, like Royal Hager and that stuff. But when it comes to art pottery like this or like this, I'm out of my element. I don't know. So what I did was I took a picture of it. I posted it in my Facebook group, Old Things Identification, which I've linked down in the description. And within an hour... I had an answer. <laughs> These mugs were made by Andy Shaw. He has his mark down below. Um, on the website where he sells his stuff, they sell for $50 a piece. I'm not asking $50 a piece. <laughs> not even close. I'm thinking I'm probably going to ask between $20 and $25 a piece, optimistically, if I can even get that. I mean, they are beautiful. They're very high quality. Uh, but it's a resale market. I'm not, I'm not the artist, so I'm reselling his work, and I'm not gonna get fifty dollars for reselling his work. So um, they are really nice. If I if they don't sell, I'll probably end up using them because I do really like them. So um, I think that's really that's really about it. That's everything we got. I'm trying to think. It was a week ago. <laughs> Usually I'm better about this. Usually it's, I go shopping, I come home, I haul everything up three flights of stairs, I dump everything on the table, I set up the camera, I do the haul video, I start listing stuff. I did it all out of order this time. I just, I started listing stuff and then stuff was, you know, and it's just, oh gosh, I got ahead of myself this time. 
and I apologize for that. Uh, but I think we made out okay. So um, it was overall, it was a pretty good haul, I'd say. I'm pleased that things are selling uh, from this haul already. I can't off the top of my head think what the total spend was. I want to say um, around $40. Uh, gosh, I don't know though. Um, but Sis and I had fun. That's what matters. And to celebrate, we had soda because my kids don't drink soda. So <laughs> she got a nice Coca-Cola. So um, make sure you check out the shopping video, which I posted yesterday. I will put a link to that down in the description. And um, make sure you hop on over to my Relic Recovers channel because I have been cross-posting my content over the winter months. So some of my shopping videos are actually over on my other channel. There's a link to that down in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've spotted something that you just can't live without, don't worry. I've put a link to our Etsy store down in the description.